Hey guys, on today's episode of Geek Beat, I'm gonna give you a tour of my desk. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Drobo. I am finally at a point in my life when I'm kinda happy with the way my desk is set up, and that has not happened in a very, very long time. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of what I'm using over here on a day-to-day -day basis, and that way, you know, if it gives you some ideas on how you can streamline things or just make your environment better, you're all good. So without further ado, let's do this. Uh, this is my little universe that I live in. I've, I've finally narrowed it down to a single monitor. I used to have multiple monitors or triple or you know, a lot of monitors. But now I just went and invested in this one big Apple monitor. I'm happy with it. So uh, uh, for the sake of ease of coverage, let's start on this side and we'll work our way over here. Okay, so first of all, I am using as my normal day-to-day -day laptop an Apple uh, what is this thing called, Norm? MacBook Air. That's it, the MacBook Air. And you'll notice mine's standing up here on the edge. When I, what happens is in the evenings when I go home, I just pull it out. This is a cool little base by Just Mobile. It's called the Alu Base, A-L-U-B-A-S-E. It's about 50 bucks on Amazon. And this little white insert, basically this just sits here. And I come in in the morning, I snap my my uh, laptop into it, it snugly fits in there. I plug in one Thunderbolt cable here and a power cable over there. So we'll talk about why that's important in a minute. By the way, the Alu Base also comes, it comes in a nice box, uh, but it comes with this one extra insert that's for like Mac Pro, MacBook Pros. So if you've got the thicker MacBook Pro, it's got an insert for that, it's got an insert for the thinner MacBook Airs. So that's where we start. Now let's move on over here. This is a set of Kef X300A powered desktop speakers. You're gonna notice a few things. First of all, they've got these like aluminum wolf, uh, uh, drivers in here that are very impressive with this unique surround, this rubber surround right here. They also have what they call the unique UNI-Q, the unique uh, uh, driver setup where the tweeter is right in the middle of this outer mid-range base unit, okay? Each of these two speakers has 150 watts and it's really clean. It's got two amps, a Class A, B amplifier setup. And what happens is these are plugged in through USB. So they're taking digital signal from the laptop into them, amplifying it and putting it out. What's amazing about these speakers, first of all, they just sound really good and clear like you'd expect from an $800 speaker, but when I'm listening to them, it sounds like the sound is coming from the monitor. You know how normally you can hear speakers and it's coming out the left or the right? In this case, it's, it's eerie. It sounds like it's coming right here, which is awesome. So big thumbs up on those speakers. They're amazing. Uh, I don't even know what else to say about them. Now, moving right along, let's get to the center stack here. This is a Just Mobile drawer. This drawer does two things. One, it lets me organize crap that would otherwise be sitting loose. But two, it elevates the screen to a point where it's more comfortable for me because I'm so tall, I don't want to be looking down, it puts pressure on my neck. So this gets the screen up. Now this screen is the 27 inch Apple screen, it's a Thunderbolt screen. And here's why that is important. Um, first of all, it has a power, it has a single cable that comes out the back that goes over to the laptop, which provides power and Thunderbolt. Now the Thunderbolt comes into here and then you'll notice back here, we've got USB ports. We've also got FireWire 800, Thunderbolt, and Ethernet. Now what that means is, for example, the um, Thunderbolt cable right here, this black one, is going to this Drobo Mini right here. And by the way, Drobo is sponsoring today's show 
but uh, I would be using this mini even if they weren't because you see how small and compact it is, but this thing has four different one terabyte drives in it. So I've got four terabytes of storage here connected via Firewire to my Mac, uh, uh, to my you know laptop. And what happens is in the morning when I connect the Firewire port, it automatically goes through and it gives me ethernet, USB, Firewire, anything that's plugged into the monitor is accessible through this one Firewire port. So I plug that in, my Drobo Mini is working, my speakers are working because they're USB, there's still extra USB ports for other stuff, so it's just fantastic. Now, it's not inexpensive, okay? Um, this monitor cost $1,000, actually I got it on sale at Best Buy for like $950 or $980, but it's, it's basically $1,000. The Drobo Mini here, it's about $1,000. Uh, because of the four drives and the chassis itself, so it's not cheap, but God, it makes my life so wonderful. You notice I have a couple of little Hero 3 uh, GoPros sitting here, which we're, I've got them sitting out because I was making sure they were charged, making sure they had cards in them. These have 32 gig uh, cards in them uh, because we're going to be taking these to Japan with us. Uh, and we'll be filming with them. This one also has a touch screen back on it. Um, I don't have the other one on this right now, so you can see how much thinner it is uh, without the back versus with it. But these will shoot high res, you know, 4K video or really high frame rate 1080p. So we'll be using those when we go to Japan here in a week or two. Um, actually, uh, you'll probably be seeing this while we're in Japan. Now here's another interesting little uh, piece of kit that I've got. This is actually a stock keyboard and a stock trackpad from Apple for the laptop, but it's this plastic piece right here that connects them together that I find so interesting. It's made by Meshway, M-E-S-H-W-E, and uh, it only costs 30 bucks on Amazon. And all you do is you basically just kind of snap these devices right into the channel here. There you go. And now I've got one unit that I can use the trackpad, I can use the keyboard. I really like that for keeping things organized. All right, moving right along, just a couple more pieces here to my daily setup. One is a cheap, cheap little Panasonic cordless phone system. We hardly ever use this, but the, um, the important thing to note is even though this is a normal phone that you would find in, in a home, we've got about six or seven of them around the office, the way it connects to the internet is we use UMA, that's O-O-M-A, UMA, and it's a free VoIP service. And I mean, it's really like free. I mean, I think you pay taxes on it now, but you buy this little device at Costco or Amazon or on UMA.com, and you get a phone number, just a regular phone number, but it goes through the internet, uses your broadband. We use one up here for the, at the office, even though nobody really uses it, but occasionally we'll make calls on it. We generally prefer to use our cell phones or Skype. Okay, so moving on to this piece right here. This is the Moset Communicator. Now, I find this thing to be really, really fascinating. This device is kind of an all-in-one speaker phone, IP phone, um, iPad charger. It's just amazing. You notice it looks like an iPad. That's because it is one. This is an iPad, just a standard uh, second-gen iPad that we insert into the communicator. It locks right in on that little charger. Bang, now it's charging, but what it's also going to do is if I launch Skype or YouTube or anything else that uses audio, um, it will come out these speakers on the front for audio, and it will also use the microphone here. Now, if I wanted to be on a Skype call and keep it a little more personal, I can actually pick up the handset and I can use it just like a phone. So I'm using Skype, I can use Skype in numbers. It will ring here on my desk and I'll pick it up like a phone. So that is amazing. On top of that, 
they have this app called IP Commander. When you launch this app, it gives you a full, I mean, it turns an iPad into a full-blown phone system, okay? It's just amazing. Um, you can see contacts. Uh, this one doesn't have my address book in it. You speed dialing. There's all these settings. It's crazy, okay? So you can buy IP phone service from anybody, run it through your iPad, stick it in this communicator dock, and, and you're done. So... This unit has a, a stand on the back, so it's adjustable. It could be wall-mounted. It also has Ethernet pass-through, so we could come in from the Ethernet on the, uh, in the room if you only have one port, and then out to the computer, and uh, that way you're not eating up your only port. So another little piece of gear that I very highly recommend. Uh, that's about it. I mean, over here, I guess the last thing would be I've got this little iDapt kit. It, uh, uh, it's really dusty and dirty. Yuck. Well, this is a multiple charger unit. So you'll see we keep a clear hotspot. This is a 4G clear hotspot. That stays in the office. This is actually our backup wireless internet connection in case our main line goes down. It's not fast enough to like do our uploads and stuff, but it's fast enough for people around here to at least surf the web and do, you know, really urgent things. And then I've got a little uh, iPod, I've got another little iPod, and this other charger, the micro USB, I'll stick my phone on there to charge it. So, oh, I guess that's about it, with the exception of my little toddy uh, screen wipe. It's just a little football guy with a soft thing on the back so I can kind of clean off the monitor. And that's about it, guys. So, uh, let me know if you've got any cool suggestions of things I need to add to the desk or if you have any questions about the stuff that I just showed you, I'm happy to uh, answer, answer those questions. And we'll put links to all the products on Amazon on the show notes. So just stop by geeky.tv today and look at the show notes there. You'll get all the links. All right, guys, have a good one. I'll see you soon.